My research primarily focuses on the technology industry on, and on how firms use technology strategically. I primarily use data to answer questions that are relevant for uh, technology managers whose answers may not always be very obvious. So I'll give you a couple of examples. You know, in the technology industry, acquisitions is a very uh, is, is an important way of growing. And uh, firms often acquire other companies uh, to get access to their R&D and to ac get access to people. So one of the questions we looked at was, is it better to acquire early or acquire late? So should you be going after really small startups or should you go after more established companies? Which is better? And the answer is not really obvious because you know, if you go after startups, uh, you, get, uh, you can probably buy them cheaper and you get access to a lot of cool technology and uh, a lot of great people. If you buy companies late, they're more established and they have a revenue stream. So it's not really obvious which is the right way to go. Uh, what we did was we analyzed data and we looked at, uh, well, for companies who do acquire others, uh, what does the stock market say? I'll give you another example. So one of the big debates which is going on right now in the technology industry is whether you should disclose software vulnerability information as widely as possible so that people are aware of vulnerabilities that are in software. The answer there is not really obvious because if you disclose information, you also inform people who can exploit that information to attack. But you also inform people who protect systems uh, by disclosing that information. So it's, it's really a trade-off.